स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ बायोलॉजी यूनिट सेवेंटीन एनिमल किंगडम यूनिट सेवेंटीन एनिमल किंगडम स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट क्लास वी हैव सीन बेसिस फॉर क्लासिफिकेशन एंड लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज सिमेट्री वी हैव सीन टू टाइप्स ऑफ सिमेट्री वी हैव सीन एंड द टू टाइप्स ऑफ सिमेट्री एग्जांपल्स आल्सो वी हैव सीन देन व्हाट इज जर्म लेयर्स वी हैव सीन then classifications of kingdom animalia based on fundamental features we have seen then next differentiate between diploplastic and triploplastic we have seen what is coelom we have seen then types of coelom the diagram also we have seen the next one invertebrata vertebrate also we have seen the next topic we are going to see is the one binomial nomenclature what is that one binomial nomenclature what do you mean by binomial nomenclature nomenclature means method of naming any organism is called as a nomenclature binomial means by means to nomial means name any organisms should possess two names as a binomial names the binomial names is also called as a scientific name the scientist called carolus linnaeus introduced the method of naming the animals with two names as binomial nomenclature this mark is two marks the first name is called genus the first name is called genus the first letters of genus is denoted in capital letters the first letters of genus must start with capital letters that's what they say here and second name is the one species second name is the one species is denoted in small letters the species name our first letter should start with in small letter the binomial names of some common names are given below we can go through the common name of the common name is amoeba the binomial name of amoeba is amoeba proteus amoeba proteus and second one common name is the one hydra the binomial name of hydra is the one hydra vulgaris hydra vulgaris then common name is tapeworm the binomial name of tapeworm is the one tenia solium then roundworm is a common name binomial name of roundworm is ascaris lumbricoides ascaris lumbricoides the next one earthworm that's a common name the scientific name or binomial name of earthworm is the one lambito maruti and periyanx exacavatus or periyanx exacavatus you can pronounce after i read you can practice here for your own then common name is one leech the binomial name of leech is the one Hirudinaria granulosa. Hirudinaria granulosa. The cockroach is a common name. The binomial name of cockroach is Periplanata americana. Snail is a common name. The binomial name of snail is Pilla globosa. Pilla globosa. Starfish is a common name. The binomial name of starfish is Asterias rubens. 
Asterias, Rubens, Frog is the one common name. Rana exadactyla is the one scientific name or binomial name. Rana exadactyla. Then wall lizards is a common name. Podarsis muralis. Podarsis muralis is the one binomial name. Crow is a common name. Corous splendens. Corous splendens. Peacock is a common name. Pavo cristatus. Pavo cristatus. Dog is a common name. Binomial name of dog is Canis familiaris. Canis familiaris. Cat. Is a common name. The scientific name of cat, a binomial name of cat is Felis Felis. Tiger is a common name. Binomial name is Panthera tigris. Panthera tigris. Man is a common name. Homo sapiens is a binomial name. The next topic is invertebrata. What is invertebrata? The organism which do not have backbone we call as invertebrata. In invertebrata, there are nine pylums are there. We are going to see one by one with examples. The first one of invertebrata, pylum porifera. Pylum porifera. Porifera means poor bearers. What is pore bearers? The body of the organisms of this pylum porifera have pore like structures in the body. What do you mean by pore? Pore like structures. That is, we call as a pore bearers. These porifera animals are multicellular animals. Porifera are the multicellular animal. It is non motile. Aquatic organisms. What do you mean by motile? Motile means the organism can able to move here and there. That is we call as a motile. Whereas non-motile means the organism cannot move here and there. That is we call as a non-motile. They will be stick or they will be placed in one place only. They are aquatic organisms. You know what do you mean by aquatic? Aquatic means the organism which live in water we call as aquatic organisms in your house you may have fish tank that fish tank under the name is called as a aquarium we can see because the fish which live in water we call as a aquarium uh, common or uh, commonly called as sponge the poor bear is this example is someone commonly called as sponges they exhibit cellular grade of organization. They appear cellular level of organization. Already we have seen the level of organizations. Yes, you can recall. Then body is perforated with a many pores called ostia. Perforated means are present. Pores in their body. That pores only called as ostia. What is the use of this ostia? We will see. Water enter into the body through ostia. Ostia, through the ostia, water will enter and leads to a canal system. Leads to canal system. It circulates water throughout the body. Okay, it circulates the water throughout the body and carries food, oxygen. Okay, the next so, point is seven, the body wall contain spicules. What do you mean by spicules? Spine like structures or thorn like structures. They have small, small spicules in the body which form the skeletal framework. Which form skeletal framework. The spicules, they only they form skeletal, act as a skeletal framework. Reproduction is by both asexual and sexual methods. Example, Euplectella cycon. Example, Euplectella cycon. 
So these are the two examples are given in our textbook. You can go through. So far, we have seen these are the characters which are given for pylum porifera. The next pylum is the one pylum cilantrata. Pylum cilantrata. Here, this is the one pylum cilantrata. Here, the pylum cylindrata is also called as nidaria. Pylum cylindrata is also called as nidaria. The cylindrates are aquatic organisms. I told you what is aquatic. Yes, okay, aquatic organisms. Mostly marine one. Mostly marine. What is marine? The organism which live in salty water. That is we call as a marine. And few of these organisms, they may live fresh water also. Few of the organisms, they may live in fresh water farms also. That's why they say fresh water farms. They are multicellular animals. The cylindrata or nidaria or multicellular animal and radially symmetrical animals. Radially symmetrical animals. Can you recall what is radially symmetrical? Radially symmetricals the body parts are arranged around the central axis if you just draw a line on the central axis of the body they are arranged okay if the animals cut through the central axis any directions it can be divided into smaller halves example we are earlier we have seen already example Let's say we say as a radially symmetry, hydra we have seen. So that radially symmetry only they given here. So you can recall the basis of our classifications. We have learned so what is radially symmetrical. You have to recall what is radially symmetrical with the tissue grade of organizations. Tissue grade of organization. The body wall is diploplastic. You know what I mean by diploplastic? This also we have seen the basis of, of our classifications. Diplo di, means here two. Diploplast plastic means two layers. The organism they form two layers. That is outer layer we call ectoderms and inner layer we call endoderm. Are separated by non-cellular jelly-like substance called mesoclea. This mesoclea also we have seen the types of coelom. There is a one. Uh, gel like substance which separates this both ectoderm as well as the endoderm. That separations substance only we call as a mesoglia. They'll ask you what is mesoglia. You can refer types of coelom diagram. It has a central gastrovascular cavity. It has central vascu central gastrovascular cavity called cilantiron with mouth surrounded by a short tentacles so here the mouth surrounded by short tentacles what is tentacles tentacles they act as a finger like projections here the tentacles bear stinking cells they have one cells that cells used for stinking stinking means it is used to harmful it is used to make a a hole on the other organism that is because of stinking cells. If any enemies, any organism comes near to this uh, nematosis or nidoplast or this jellyfish, they have one cells that is cells, stinking cells. Suddenly, this they purse that uh, tentacles in the other organism's body and they release some kind of toxic substance where they can escape from the that place the tentacle bear stinking cells called nidoplasts or nematocysts here many cylindrates exhibits polymorphisms many cylindrate exhibits polymorphisms which is the variations which is the variations in the structure and functions of the individuals of the same species they reproduce both asexually and sexually. Example, Hydra, 
jellyfish today we have seen two pylum just go through the two pylums that need area and pylum porifera and learn the common name and binomial name of these organisms just write the question answer what the teachers are given write that questions in your classwork long size and roll classwork allot separate separate classwork for physical science biological science after complete your question answer you can send the answers to your respective subject biology teachers if you have any doubt you can contact through whatsapp okay bye take care